Who was Len Evans? Wow, well, that's a big question. Um, in my view, he was the most influential uh, person that we've seen in the Australian wine industry, period. He had, greater, had a greater importance and impact on the whole of the Australian wine industry than any other person, uh, basically ever, but you could certainly say in the, in the 20th century. Yeah, yeah, he was, I first met Len in the late 70s and um, when I was in McLaren Vale and he was always a larger than life figure and, and when I arrived here and joined Brokenwood in 82, um, you know, he said, oh, I remember you young fellow and, and from that point on he was uh, my mentor and father figure and uh, yeah, just uh, respected him enormously. Yeah. He was my greatest friend. It's not common for Australians to say we both, uh, that males love males, but uh, in, in, this, in this context. Uh, but I think we loved each other and, uh, you know, I, I, I still miss him dreadfully mm. and I'm going to miss him uh, always. Over the years we've uh, looked at all sorts of combinations of, of uh, compare and contrast with Bordeaux. Um, so Bordeaux itself, just the, uh, the Bordeaux region, 116 plus hectares of vineyards, 57 appellations, 10,000 wine producing chateaus, 13,000 grape growers. So of the 10,000 chateaux, we're going to look at the top 13, which I think is only appropriate. Lovely sweet fruit, slightly up front, um, there's sweet and less prune, spicy nose, tomato bush. Um, yeah, quite herbal, touch stemmy, a um, little bit of sulphide, forest floor, but just yeah, really nice silky tannins and good balance. I applied to, um, to your tutorial for just, it's an amazing experience, I've got many friends that have, um, that have applied and and they've just told me their experiences, have, it's just been life changing for them. So um, it's just a chance to, to try some of the best wines in the world with um, some of the best wine minds in the world um, and just gain from their experience. And it's, it's fantastic for putting Australian wines in perspective with um, on a world stage, basically. Um, I'm very lucky. Uh, is, is probably the best answer. Um, is that only 12 people are selected every year. Um, it's an incredible honour to be able to be part of such a, an amazing uh, scholarship. Um, I would like to think that it's, I've been in the industry quite a long time and I you know, hopefully you know, by doing such an experience will give me the opportunity to go forward and do a lot more show judging than what I have at the moment. Give me the skills and the, uh, I suppose, aptitude to go further in the industry. This week offers a lot of different things. Um, I would like to to refine my, my ability to judge and to judge fairly um, without so much personal opinion but with the passion behind it. Um, exposure to these wines is absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's not done anywhere else um, and in the context that it is done with, um, doing the master classes offers you the opportunity to see the label um, but to taste the wine and to really get in behind it and understand it. Um, and the wines at dinners every evening are just absolutely phenomenal and you don't get that kind of exposure. Um, I think very much so I've, I've changed my opinion on Australian wine and the fact that it is able to age, it's absolutely incredible and we are doing wonderful things and have done and will continue to do so hopefully. Um, but yeah, that, that kind of level of exposure and understanding of the Australian wine industry has just gone through the roof. Uh, I think I'm going to need another week to digress and go over everything that's, uh, that has been happening. I mean, considering the amount of wines that we've tasted the, um, through the benchmarking exercise and the judging, but also through the dinners and the masterclasses, is, I would say, in, in a very short period, we'd have to say a broad um, and uh, a broader and much in, more in-depth understanding of the world of wine. So we're here at the tutorial today to, to present the, uh, the Duxes Award and to um, you know, be part of this wonderful week that's, that's such a legacy to my dad and um, it's, it's wonderful for me to, to be part of um, uh, you know, everybody's glowing appreciation of the wonderful week that they've had and it's, it's, um, it's a big effort to, ha to make it all happen and it's wonderful to see everybody in the last stages of it. I really think that this year um, has been one of the, the, the very best. I know you've got the, uh, the greatest Olympics, uh, blah, blah, <laughs> so in the back of your, your mind. 
but uh, this is for real. Um, I thought you judged uh, as a group uh, exceptionally well and there was a number of occasions when you just went 18 and a half round the room and it, that was a gold medal line. And, uh, I mean, the fact that there was not even a hiccup there. It, when, once you see that happen, and it happened more than once, happened a number of times, uh, that just tells you these guys know what they're doing. But we came into this morning uh, in a situation where there were six uh, scholars who you could you could look at the uh, the individual components one way this way that way and uh, the outcome of that was that we had six that you could throw a blanket over um, and we were hoping uh, against uh, hope that uh, someone would uh, come out and the DRC tasting and I probably partly let the cat out of the bag already uh, Dave Brooks <laughs> To the tutors, um, you've been amazing. It's just been a, a great experience. Just um, your knowledge has um, just been incredible, and that's been a really sort of humbling experience. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a bit emotional. To <laughs> <laughs> um, so the crew, um, you've been amazing as well. Um, what a great bunch! No snobs amongst you. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, and Matt, thanks very much, mate. This is um, yeah, it's awesome fun. Len started this to increase the, the knowledge base and the diversity of judges in the Australian wine show system. We have done that and we now realise that if they don't take up judging, that's not so uh, dramatic because we want the retailer to be better educated, we want the wine writer to be a better wine writer and the sommelier to be a better sommelier. Well, once again, I think the name says it all. Uh, Len Evans' tutorial gets back to what I was saying before about his belief that we you know, could easily get to complacent, we had to be as an industry and as individuals within it, always wanting to lift the bar. Good is not good enough, it's yeah. got to be better than good and that's indeed what this tutorial is really yes. all about. Yeah.